for me it's like a dark reality, a dark cloud is coming so fast. I've studied too much pre-World War II German history too. So I'm at a terrible disadvantage because my antenna are just incinerating. They're just on fire. And I am scared shitless. Where do I latch on? I feel like I'm just, I'm sliding down a greased escarpment that has no end. Except all I see below is darkness. Talk we've had about fear it to me is like a long-term, vast issue that you know will go on and on in in the world because we're animals. We've been given the fear response in order to survive in the world. We have to know there's danger. How do we make people less afraid? Is what I want to know. How do we include people? How do we? share in a way that makes it safe, that makes it okay to voice a lone opinion and still feel valued. To think that this is okay because they're illegal to do what they're doing to the children, the level of cruelty is so astounding. The common denominator is the most primal thing that motivates everyone. It's, it's fear. There's, there's no such thing as hate. Hate does not exist. There's no hate. I know this. It's fear. So this is my battle. And as I listen to everyone, I realize that this, this is what's important to me, is I, I want people to feel safe, no matter what they believe. When Trump was elected, I knew exactly who we were getting. And the reason I knew exactly who we were getting is because he is just like the kids who beat me up every day at school for my entire childhood. So I'll say this right out loud, you know, I am genuinely terrified of traditional political activism. For me personally, my dance is about how to get up on my hind legs and say, this is what I know. This is what I believe. This is what matters. This is what I will stand for. While at the same time not making anybody else wrong for being who they are. So I'm in the healing arts. The woman who brought this work that, that I practice to America from Japan said that disease kills hundreds while fear kills thousands. It's just good to see other people and to recognize that other people do share some of the same feelings and to be seen, to be seen because I can't talk about, like, about this yeah. Yeah. And, or like this with other people. There's a way in which what we're doing right now is a very radical and revolutionary thing and very empowering. I am not opposed to action. I believe that, that action is how we get out of this. What I struggle with and have trouble with is action that, does, that comes from an almost autonomic response to not wanting to feel that worthlessness. This is, this is where it starts right here, is to say, you know what? It's like we're, all of us, we're out there, we're bouncing off of walls going, what do we do, what do we do, what do we do? And you come in here and you say, you know what? This scares me. And even just sitting here and saying, this scares me, you look across the circle and someone else says, yeah, it scares me too. I don't think we have to get rid of the fear. I think we have to own it. And that's about being seen and knowing that we are in a community of, of people who are scared right now. That's, I think, where we start. Yeah. I think it's totally appropriate to be scared right now. Yeah. But what I see, what I see going on around me from Every side of the political spectrum is people who don't want to be scared. And they're trying to do anything to keep from feeling what they're really feeling. The thing that is important to me about this is that I really love seeing people in their depth. Mm -hmm. And this is the only place I can do that. I mean, I just see people on the streets and people, and then friends come over and they talk about everything but, you know, and 
and I always feel guilty if I try to go too deeply into anything because it's a party or it's fun or whatever. But here I can really see the humanity in all of you and hear the humanity in all of you and it just like makes me feel so good. <laughs> Amen. Oh, yeah. When there is a circle, there is, there is a spirit of a fire in the middle of the circle because that's how we gathered for hundreds of thousands of years in a circle around a fire. And the fire of listening and the fire of storytelling move through each other like blood moves through a body. And what, what you all have kind of started here is really just the dissemination of our, of our greatest legacy as humans. Sharing fear here hasn't generated more fear. It's dispelling fear. Mm -hmm. Because there's listening. Thank you for beginning this. Because I think probably every neighborhood in America is hungry for it. <laughs>